Hi there, my name is Aaron Lanterman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech, and I'm here at the Computer Museum of America in front of the PDP exhibit. Let's see, here we have a PDP-8A. That's one of the smaller PDPs. And if we go over this way, here's a giant PDB-15. If you're looking for any sort of logic index numbering system, you won't find any. Over here, we have the original PDP-8 made out of transistors, i.e. not integrated circuits. Of course, integrated circuits are made of transistors, but inside that cabinet is a bunch of discrete transistors. Over here, we have a PDP-5. And here you can see example of the wire wrapped backplanes that DAC used and a lot of other mini computer manufacturers used. Now you can imagine if one wire is out of place, we just like to debug that. So over here we have an example of hardware that was interfaced with a PDP machine to do biomedical instrumentation type of research. So you would take a creature and put EEG sensors on them or something or the other like that. Then you put it in the science box and do some science on it. Yep, I don't know what the creatures felt about that. And the science box here would shield the sensitive instruments from external electromagnetic interference in order to take good data. Some more, looks like analog conditioning equipment. Uh, and down here we have some paper recording of various sorts. What is this? This is, I don't know. Is there another PDP-8 down here? Yes, a PDP-8i. One of those would be neat to have. And over here we have a PDP-12. You reckon engineers would store sodas over in these uh, tape storage areas? Like, Probably you know, soda not. Sideways? Probably not, because this is very expensive equipment. Oh yeah.